Okay, um, what's your name? My name is Amza Sherifdin Kola Wali, popularly known as Oshifa. I'm a music artist and also a producer, songwriter, composer, performing artist. Oh, but. <laughs> Uh, the, the Oshifa, how do you get that name? Before the definition, my friends called me Oshifa right from primary school. I don't even know how the name come up, but Oshifa Oshifa has been in everybody's lips, everybody's mouth since when I was very, very young. Until I gave a definition to all the letters in the world in the world Oshifa. O stands for um, original, S for spectacle, H for humility, I for ideal, F for fox, fess, A for advocate and H for happiness. Okay. Um I'm trying to do a timeline now. Let's say um, 10 years ago, when your pimp name start, people start calling you Oshifa, or even way before that, if you are to be watching your life, who exactly are you going to see? You see a great transformation. Since then, I've been doing better, I've been doing good. I'm a better person now compared to then. Um, in terms of my music, in terms of my lifestyle, and the growth has been so amazing. So I think I'm a better person now. Who exactly was that person? That person before, because like some people's history, um, 10, 5 years ago, they were in a bad place, emotionally, psychologically, some were doing lots of wrong things that they shouldn't be doing, which some people regret now, and some just find it as a stepping stone to their life. But you, 10 years ago, what were you doing? 10 years ago, I didn't really have confidence in myself because I was like, this thing, can I make it? I was afraid. I was like, that full confidence was not there 10 years ago. But now, I think I, I can go for anything. I'm ready to do anything. The passion has grown so big, the confidence has grown so big. I think I'm a better person um, compared to 10 years ago. Like, I don't understand. What incident made you from being that person that was less confident to that person that now has this confidence to be able to move forward and face any challenge that he faces, that comes to in his life? Myself. Myself, I've been working on myself day, day to day, night to night, trying to be better than before, and obviously I'm better than before. So I, I motivate myself. I'm a self-disciplined person. I, I don't need, though sometimes you need people's advice and people's um, comment, but I don't believe in that. I believe in myself, and I believe in what I do, what I know. I gain experience from online, from people, from my parents, from my colleagues, my friends. My friends are my biggest motivator and my siblings also. So with these people, I've been able to become better and better and better. So. What exactly made you want to do music? Before I knew my family, um, knew the history of and background of my family. I've been wanting to do music because of the passion. I want to spread the news. I want to spread spread joy and happiness to the people. What inspired me to um, do music is I feel I'm a prophet. I'm a messenger, and the the right means and the best means to spread the news to people is true music. I feel the world need to hear me 
the world need to know who I am, the world need to hear my message. So I just feel the best way to spread the news, the good news is through music because people listen to music than any other means of communication. I tell you, man. <laughs> Sure. Um, lyrically, who inspires you? Fela Nicola Pokuti, the late Fela Nicola Pokuti. It's my biggest inspiration. Forget this new uh, the Gen Z. Some of them do good music, but I just listen for fun. But if I need inspiration, I go back to the old folks' music, like the likes of Sonia Day. The likes of Ebenezer Obe, Fela, Anikula Kokuti, uh, all these old folks music. Uh, I listen to them and I feel they are my biggest in- inspiration compared to these days music. In these days music I just fun and dance and shake body. <laughs> <laughs> the, is, it, is it a lot kind of song? Because a lot of people that, a lot of interviews, a lot of people that I've talked to, some people reason why those guys inspired them is because their parents play those songs a lot back to back like for instance my dad is a person who listens to 90s hip-hop and there's no how you can't be inspired or you can't be moved by the song because it's something that he listens to it was that the same story for you yes yes obviously my dad is a fan of fella Ebenezer obi and sonia so whenever he plays this music i'm always there to listen to it so growing up um within this um growing up in the environment made me attached to this folks music and i just can't do without it because you have to listen to it because my dad plays it every day so i can (laughs) something i grew up listening to so it's i grew up uh, being part of it because day to day these are the songs I listen to so uh, let's talk a bit about your parents growing up how did you um, going, how did you see your parents, your father, your mother because there are a lot of pictures of how people how kids See their parents growing up differs from what they end up meeting when they grow up. To you, how did you see both your parents? I would say I'm a, f- a good photocopy or a good reflection of my parents because I carry most of their characteristics. I carry most of their likeness. So if you see me, you see my parents. From the character, the attitude, from the voice, to the composure, to the skin tone, everything about my parents is present in me. So in the music aspect too, my parents, the both parents, both my mother and my father are great fan of music. They love music so much. From the religious music to the circular music to the folks music and traditional, any kind of music, they are they are ready to listen to it. And what's the most memorable thing you can remember about your parents as a young boy, let's say at the age of 12? What can you remember? Being good. Being good. My daddy is a good man was a good man rather sorry and i learned a lot from him from being patient to being positive to being be, uh, he's a he was a good good man and the things i learned from him is patience uh, patience 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 and courage my daddy can do anything is ready to do anything for anybody. He does not have to be uh, his religion. He does not have to be his tribe. You, you don't have to be a Yoruba before my daddy attend to you. You don't have to be a Muslim. You don't have to be a, uh, like 
his family before he attend to you he's ready to help anyone he's ready to help anybody so i just feel these are the things that inherit from him and it has been been with me since then and i think i'm growing better you said was what exactly happened he died um my dad died 2021 June 25, 2021. So he's late. That's why I used the word was. At the time of his death, what could you remember was going through you? What, how, how did you feel? I wasn't there when he gave up. But before then, like a few minutes before then, he was conscious was feeling cold at the same time hot so i was like <laughs> is this how we all gonna go after all the struggles after all, everything everything is vanity we just leave one day so i was very very sad so i went out to get something coming back inside I had the bad news that he has gone. So I felt very, very, very bad that he didn't even wait for me to achieve my dreams. He didn't even wait for me to see who I will become and who I told him I will become. He didn't wait for me to finish my school. He didn't wait for me to get married or he didn't even see my first child. So I was very, 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 I felt bad about it. But what can I do? God gives and take now. So at the time you were angry and for the next few weeks, what were you doing? At least to to put yourself back into the right state of mind. I couldn't do because I was thinking and crying every day like a baby. <laughs> and that's the fact though. Uh, who we happen to go no waiting that they talk about. I was very, very down all hope was lost like how will i continue my school how will i continue my music this guy i want to do this for this guy it's no more what's the essence of doing it again i wanted to give up but something just came to my mind that okay you will be proud if you achieve all these things or otherwise continue your mama is still there you can do more for her so I just summoned courage and I kept everything at my back and moved forward. And what was the first thing you did after motivating yourself back to reality? I went back to school. I graduated 2022 and I um, got admission again 2023 so that was the promise I did to him that I'll finish my school and I'm still schooling the promise I made was to be a superstar and I'm still making music the promise I made is to marry and settle down I already did so I feel there's still more time to achieve a lot more time to achieve what I promise. Yeah. And what exactly are you planning to do, like in honor of the legacy? What exactly? What exactly do you have in mind? To become a mega star, world star, world known musician. I think he will be very very happy with it too. That man will just appear in my dream and say, well done boy, you, you said it and you did it. I feel he will be happy if I graduate, have my degree, uh, finish, um, get a record label to sponsor my music, get a Grammy for myself and other awards. I think he will be happy with all these things, uh, I believe so. I'm working on it. I think most people, they lose sight of their goals 
whatever the story may be whether it's um the death of a loved one or just a misfortune which affects their dreams and they just fall down and keep drowning into that soulness but what exactly do you have to say for others who might have hit the stone and felt for them a bit my advice for them is everything comes and go there's no permanent situation in this life just carry your load and move on Mm -hmm. thinking about it won't solve anything won't bring back the death or your lost just think think about it though think about it meditate cry if you want to cry everything out if you want to but just make sure you stand up and move again yeah okay um let's talk on your music what would you say the genre of your music is uh afro fusion afro dancehall afro hip hop hmm. and we've talked about what inspires you who exactly do you plan yourself featuring or being featured in Bona boy one Olamide two um Brimo Ice Prince Pato Ranking Wigan for the ladies Tiwa Savage Ira Star so many artists yo so many I would like to talk on a sensitive topic in music because music in Africa even music worldwide in general or every form of every career there is this misbelief or I, I don't know what what to use where people feel that men naturally do better compared to female or more, there are more men in a particular career than there are to female what do you think is the case or how you describe such um scenario like for in music now where there are more male artists compared to female or even in Nigeria where there are more male artists doing well compared to female what is the case or how can we change that or just touch on the topic a bit i would say is the energy you know most um uh, few ladies or women has that energy to do or die you know that do or die spirit female don't really have it only few of them have it and men can go extra mile to get something for themselves talking about music men has a lot of opportunity than the female because the female get used along the way and some of them can't be it you will see producers you see directors wanting to sleep with them wanting to uh do a lot of things with them so many of them feel discouraged and step back or male na do or die na money you want say na this you want i go do am if you go give me this male are very courageous and they can go extra mile to get what they want and i just feel uh gender basically gender there can be gender equality in music because there's always a difference between male and female when it comes to music people listening to uh male musicians than the female musicians that has been for years and it will still be mm, you understand something similar in sports in sports everywhere every professional and even in office it's just slowly by um little by little we are going to start accepting the the public will accept the female artist only if they can keep on pushing and if we can at least get rid of the douchebags in all this industry because i know i don't know personally but i do know i do understand that there are a lot of people who use people just to get what they want and it's going to take a while before you can get rid of those but just something which is um 
which people will have to um, change. Yeah. So um, let's quickly round this up. Do you have any last message or any final word for people? Um, my message for my message for the world entirely is just do your best. Hmm? Just do the, that thing that makes that makes you feel good, that gives you happiness and joy. Hmm? Nobody will do it for you. It's only you. And you go carry your cross by yourself. Oh. And it is better you start now because delay is denial. Delay can be dangerous. So just keep on moving. It won't get better immediately, but keep on doing it. The signs will come the uh, people will come hmm? your airport will come people will come at every stage of your life people will come hmm? just keep doing it summon that courage keep on fighting it's not easy for everyone no. even the rich they cry also don't give up like me eh? I'm also going through the same thing no. but I will never never give up so don't give up. Thank you. I'm Adi Dayo and this is Starting Line by Stream Dome. Hit the subscribe button, share, and we'll see you when next we see. Bye.